a positive emotion, an abstract noun, some object that you'd find in a forest or something. These are the phrases we recite to get you in the mood for purchasing some Eau de Horton smelly water. Yes, smelly water. A concoction we first brewed thousands of years ago to make up for the fact that no one had invented hygiene yet. We'd splash ourselves with grease, tree drippings, plant gonads, anything to cover up the funk of our own rotting loins and crusted fecal matter. Mmm, loin spray. Which is ironic, because today we'll grab ingredients right from animals' butts. The musk of the civet, or the secretions of the beaver, trapped from the glands right next to their anuses. Then there's the most valued ingredient of all, ambergris, which is actually illegal in the United States, but you can find it elsewhere. Ambergris is pooped out by whales. You might have heard that ambergris is barfed out by whales, but that's just the cover story we spread because somehow it sounds less disgusting than the truth. The sweet smell of lies. We charge extra for scents that contain these natural ingredients, even though they break down more quickly into nothing. But more often, perfume is just a solution of chemicals that cost fractions of a penny to manufacture. You're paying for the brand, which makes some sense when you buy a bag or a belt and everyone can bask in your status because of a logo. With perfume though, no one has any idea which brand you paid top dollar to for their skin marinade. Mmm, sensual steak. Sometimes we make our liquid odor extra expensive, just as a joke. We jack up one bottle's price for no reason, just so people will buy the other cheaper stuff we really plan to sell. The joke never works. People just buy the expensive stuff too. The scent of wealth. Oh, and I have to tell you about the best reason to buy stink in a bottle, pheromones. These are the chemicals found in actual human sex scrapings. They'll waft up the nose of your sexual conquests and make them want you real bad. It's science. All it takes is hitting a primal button of their animal brains and they're all yours. Animal sex. At least that's what we tell you. The truth, we have zero evidence that human pheromones exist. Oh, sometimes scientists do an experiment where people get turned on by sniffing each other's dirty underwear or something, but you can pretty much trace every piece of supposed evidence for human pheromones to one study from 1991. It was a study conducted by a perfume company who wanted to label two new ingredients as pheromones so they could fool you into buying their poison skin broth. So, buy some Eau de Horton smelly water. Spray it on your neck to give your date a spicy treat if their mouth lands there. Put a bottle on your dresser, ignore it, and watch it collect dust for years, or gift it to your significant other to show them you have no idea what they're into. Poison, our newest fragrances from Eau de Horton. I'm Roger, by the way, and I give off a natural mahogany aroma. <laughs> <laughs>